Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jason Matthew and welcome to the How to Moodle uh, series of videos and today we're going to be looking at how to upload a YouTube video on your course page. So there are two basic ways in which we can do this. But first things first, uh, as with any edits that you're doing, make sure that you have Turn Editing on. So you click the button Turn Editing on. It's on the top right hand corner of your course page. So you click that and once you do that, then you have all the different editing functions available. So today, let's say I want to add a YouTube video to my unit three. So I click on unit three. I scroll down to the bottom of unit three and there you should see a button saying add an activity or resource. So I click on that and then I go to the resources section and the first way in which we're going to be doing it is using a URL, using the URL functionality of Moodle. So you click on URL and you click add. All right, so now you need to go and find your video on YouTube. So I already have one that I looked up. Um, I used to be a biochemistry lecturer in a past life, so I'm going to, and I created YouTube videos on different topics in biochemistry. So today I'm going to be looking at this one. And you go to the share and you click share. And then you click copy to copy the YouTube link. So once you have that YouTube link there, you go here. Now, you see where these asterisks are, these red asterisks, these mean, that means that those are required fields. You must fill that out in order for um, Moodle to accept your link. So the first one, I'll give it a name. So in this case, I am talking about glycolysis. An external URL is where you paste the URL that you just copied. So you just right click and you click paste. All right. Um, you can add a description if you like, that's optional. The other thing that you would want to do is choose how you want the video to be appear to appear on your course page. So there are different options. The most popular one tends to be that you add it as a pop up. So therefore it will come up as a small pop up window and your Moodle page is still open in the background. So students don't really they don't move away too far from the Moodle page, which is good. And once you're finished, you click uh, save and display. All right, so you see it's there as a link. Now let's see if the student now enters the course page, how it's going to look. So the student would have gone to unit three, clicked on unit three. And right now it's on in the contribute to community section. It always goes to the, to the bottom of the page. So, so really and truly we should move it to the relevant section, which is access and engage learning materials. And you do that again by clicking on the crosshairs and just dragging it up to that section. Now you see it's called glycolysis part one. And if the student clicks on it, it comes up as a pop-up window. And there it is. All right. So feel free to go and explore those videos if you want to learn something about biochemistry, as I said a long time ago. So embarrassingly, that's me. <laughs> All right. So that's one way. That's if you want to use the URL. And as you can see, it does it takes up just that one line. Now there's another way in which we could have added this YouTube video, but it's going to take up more space on your page. So it's again up to you how you want to do it. So we go to add an activity and resource. You click on the button. And again, we are going to the resources section, but in this case, you're going to be using a label. So you click add. In the label text, you again paste the link for the YouTube video. We have already copied it. Now, in these kind of boxes, you can't use the right click function. You have to actually use the shortcut keys on your keyboard. So if you have a Windows machine, it's Control V. If it's a Mac, like what I'm using, it's Command V. So you click, so I'm gonna press Command and V at the same time, and the link is pasted in the box there. You highlight the link and then you go 
to this button here, which says in, in insert edit link. You click on that. Link URL, you paste the link there. You can right click on this one. And as for the title, you can give it, well, I'm going to call this one glycolysis uh, part one. And once you're finished, you click insert. You click save and return to course. Now, if you look at unit three, this was when this was the first one when we just used the URL only as a resource. This one, you see how it comes up? So it has the whole video there. And if you click on the play button, the video plays. So that's using the label function. All right, and remember when you add and resource, um, it initially goes to the bottom of the page. So you'll have to click on the crosshairs and drag it to the relevant section. So you just put it up there. So you see, so these are the two diff different ways in which you can add a YouTube video. In the first way, you're using the URL resource and it's just going to take up one line. And in the other way, you're using the label resource. And this will take up a little more real estate, um, but it's more visually appealing. So it's up to you on, on which one you prefer. Um, if you have a lot of YouTube videos, you probably wouldn't want to go down this route because it will mean it take up a lot of space and there'll be a lot of scrolling down the page. But if you just have one YouTube video and you want the page to look, you know, a little different, you can do it using the label. So it's up to you and however you think your personal judgment. Okay, guys, so that's it for this video. I'm Jason Matthew here, coordinator of the IDDU. And if you have any questions, please send me an email. Take care, everyone.